కెమిస్ట్రీ జేఈ మెయిన్స్ గ్రాండ్ టెస్ట్ త్రీ లక్ష్మారెడ్డి సార్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఎసిడిటీ ఆర్డర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ I am giving you 10 seconds time, you can check. Carboxylic acids are best. And in that, methyl group is not good. If methyl is here, that is fine, because ortho effect will be there. But here it is hyperconjugation and plus A, so this is second. Phenol with chlorine. Chlorine is minus I group. So it is better. Third place. Only phenol is fourth place. Phenols are less acidic than carboxylic acids. Which of the following statements are true with respect to electronic displacement in a covalent bond? Inductive effect operates 3 f pi bond. No. Resonance effect operates through a sigma bond. No. Inductive effect operates through a sigma bond. Right? Correct? Huh? It is sigma bond. Resonance effect operates through a pi bond. Right? Pi bond only. Resonance and inductive effects operate through a sigma bond. So, 3 and 4 are correct statements. Which compound would give 5 keto 2 methyl hexanol upon ozonolysis? Simple logic I will give you. Break here. Over. Just to keep double bond there. What is the question? 5 keto 2 methyl hexanol. First place, second place 2 methyl, third, fourth, five, 5 keto 6. Got it? Just coming back. You can check now. Styrene on reaction with HBr gives 1 bromo 1 phenyl ethene. What is styrene? Vinyl benzene. CH double bond CH2. So when H plus is added, plus charge at benzidic position is best. Benzyl carbocation is more stable than alkyl carbocation. That's why bromine will be attacking here. So both correct and correct explanation. The compound which reacts fastest with Lucas reagent. You check the options. Tertiary alcohols immediately, secondary alcohols after 5 minutes and primary alcohols after heating, which is second tertiary alcohol. The major product of the following reaction is, check this, see, here hydrogens will be there, base we are using, one of the hydrogen will go and you will be getting the negative charge. Just imagine what happens after getting negative charge. Guess, guess, guess. Got it, na? Negative charge, carbon ion. Then what happens? This negative charge, whatever formed here, it is going to attack here. Then what happens? Correct. See, this is like this, and it went O minus 1, 2, 3, and 4 carbons are there. 
and this is first this is second third first second third this is having double bond this is having ch3 okay now what happens then h plus so this will become actually oh double bond oh here methyl and from here one hydrogen oh will go so that it will become right why conjugation is there correct order condensation intramolecular order condensation reaction very good question a positive carbon amide test is given by you just think I am giving you time feel that you are writing exam correct paramethyl benzyl amine benzyl amine means CH2 NH2 this is paramethyl in this C N N dimethyl N N means some group is present on the nitrogen we need NH2 group for positive carbon element reaction the deep Broglie wavelength of electron present in bore orbit of hydrogen atom is 2 pi r is equal to n lambda first orbit so n is equal to 1 2 pi r in the first orbit is 0 0.529 angstrom simple A sample of MgCO3 is 50% pure on heating. If on heating 4 gram of magnesium oxide and 4.4 grams of carbon dioxide are found, calculate that. Some punctuation marks. MgCO3 gives rise to MgO plus CO2. Magnesium atomic mass is 24. Carbon is 12, 3 oxygens each, 16, 48. So this will be 4, 8. 84 grams is the molar mass. If you take 84 grams of this, this will be 40 gram and this will be 44 gram. What you mentioned? 4 grams and 4.4 grams. If you take, if you are getting this one 4 and this is 4.4, mean this you are getting 8.4 but this 8.4 is only 50 percent pure dimension when this is 50 percent pure only that means actually we have 16.8 grams 16.8 nearest round of 17 grams it should be 16.8 nearest round of Okay, coming to next question, look at the next question. Which of the following compounds is likely to show both Frenkel and Schottky defects? Direct question, don't take time in this AGBR in CRT. Solid state. Assuming that seawater is 3.5 percentage aqueous solution of NaCl, what is the molality? 3.5 percentage molality formula is mass by 3.5 grams is saying molar mass of NaCl 58.5 into 1000 by percentage means 100 grams. If you go for simplification of this, you will get okay 3.5 divided by 58.5 1000 by 100. Okay, it will be 0 0.62. A gives rise to products, okay now, A not initial concentration is 2 molar, after 10 minutes of reaction, uh, 
Uh, after 10 minutes, the reaction is 10% completed if dA by dt is equal to Ka. Ka means it is first order reaction. Then T50 percentage is approximately. What you need to do is K is equals to 2.303 by T. T is 10 minutes log A by A minus X. A is initial concentration. 10 percentage is complete 90. So first you need to find out K value from this. 2.303 by T log. Um, this is almost equal to almost I am saying. Okay, 9 by 10 is almost 1. Log 1 is log 0 is log 1, log 1, log 1, log 1, log 1. So, 2.303. One second, we will check this. Give me one second time. Calculator. 10 divided by 9, 1.111. Log 1.111. 0 0.0457. 0 0.0457 into 2.303 divided by 10. 0 0.010. This is K value. Now, what we need to do is, he is asking what is the 50 percentage. For first order reactions, T50 is equal to 0 0.693 by K. K is 0 0.010. So, 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.01, 69.3 approximate. Approximate values you can take like 69.3 and it is given 66 here. Nearest value 66, you need to go with this one. Not. It is only closed. Huh? Which of the following is not an example of heterogeneous catalytic reaction? Combustion of coal. It is not heterogeneous, catalytic. Plus 4 oxidation state of lead is less stable than plus 2. Correct? Because lead is stable in plus 2 inert benefits. Correct? Huh? PBI4 is not a stable compound. This is also right. Okay, because it is showing plus 4 oxidation state. So both are correct, but there is no relation. The number of chlorine oxygen bonds in Cl2O7. Cl2O7 will be like this. Group 17 of class 12. What is asking? How many ClO bonds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct, na? The complex having tetrahedral shape is. Direct question. But this also you should not take time because this is NCRT. In NCRT there are five compounds NiCl4, NiCO4, NiCN4, COF6-3. These are NCRT questions. You must be aware of this very well. By seeing them you have to say sp3 hybridization tetrahedral. For these kind of questions only your time should be less consuming. Ionization of transition metal involves loss of NS electrons before N minus 1 D orbitals, right? Filling of NS orbitals takes place before the filling of N minus 1 D orbital. This is again right. Both statements are right, but there is no relation between them. Because ionization involves the reason is outside, NS orbitals are outside. That should be the reason. Okay, but here both statements are right. In the extraction of copper, the smelt formed in the blast furnace contains. Think. Exactly. If you are, if something striking, that's all. Otherwise, you have lost your question here. Don't worry. You just go to the next one. Don't waste your time. Don't think about this too much. These questions are direct questions. A current of 2 amperes passing for 5 hours deposits 22.2 grams of tin. The oxidation state of tin is Generally, 10 will be having either plus 2 or plus 4. See, if it is plus 2, that means 119 by 2. Okay, like equivalent mass requires 1 Faraday. How many Faradays we have? 2 amperes, 5 hours. Okay, now. 2 amperes, Q is equal to C time applying. 2 amperes, 5 hours. 5 hours means 5 into 16 into 16. How many coulombs it is going to be? Give me calculator. Um, 
टू इंटू फाइव इंटू सिक्सटी इंटू सिक्सटी थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिंपल ना टू फाइव टेन थ्री जीरो थर्टी सिक्स वाई एम यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर इट्स ओके थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड कुल्स डिवाइडेड बाई नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन थ्री फाइव डेज ओके ना वेन आई एम डिवाइडिंग विथ नाइंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आई एम गेटिंग जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन थ्री फाइव डेज सी वन नाइनटीन बै टू अंत दिस इज आलमोस्ट यू कैन टेक वन ट्वेंटी बै टू सिक्सटी ग्राम्स अरउंड सिक्सटी ग्राम्स इफ इट इज गिवेन बै वन फाइव डे जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन थ्री यू सो मच ओके ना अदरवेज इसे जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेवन थ्री फाइव डे गिविंग ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट टू ग्राम्स ऑफ टेन सो वन फाइव डे गिव सो मच 22.2 divided by 0.373, 59.5. Correct, na? No? One fair day, one end by two is nothing but 59.5. So correct. Oxidation state is plus two. Tin means you can you can choose the in this any one directly you can check. Pan. is main con constituent of photochemical smog peroxy acetyl nitrate it is found by the action of oxides of nitrogen and hydrocarbons in the presence of sunlight right this happens in warm season not in winter this question we were discussing yesterday okay uh, among the following the number of reaction that produce benzaldehyde is this is aldehyde synthesis correct clcl2 what happens here Two chlorines will go. Two OH groups will come, but unstable turns into benzaldehyde. Correct. H two palladium barium sulfate, Rosenmund reduction, CH four. Correct. Dibal H esters will be converted directly into aldehydes by dibal H. Correct. So all four. Answer is four. Option four. The number of non-reducing sugars of the following are starch, maltose, glucose, lactose, sucrose, cellulose, glycose, and dextrin. Open NCERT. Go to biomolecules. Check which are non-reducing, which are reducing. Okay, now reducing sugar means there should be free aldehyde group, right? So that we need to check. And for this question, the answer given is five. I don't remember biomolecules, so please excuse me. The number of this question you can skip, but this question you need to answer. The number of fibers present in the monomer of polyacrylic nitrile that is vinyl cyanide, CH two double bond CHCN. Right? There are three fibers. This kind of questions you need to attempt. A gas of unknown identity effuses uh, at the rate of. 83.3 milliliters per second and 1 or 2 kelvin molar mass of the unknown gas okay here i am taking this you need to attempt because this is easy question r1 by r2 is equals to under root of m2 by m1 r1 is first gas 83.3 by 1 or 2 is equals to unknown gas na a gas of unknown identity 83 so this is m1 we need to find out second gas is given is carbon dioxide this is 44 So this let me calculate. Give me one minute. Eighty-three point three into eighty-three point three divided by one not two divided by one zero two. So this is zero point six 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 is equal to forty-four by m one. So m one is equal to forty-four by zero point six six six. To remove that square root, I have. Square this side, okay? Forty-four divided by point six six six. That is sixty-six. Okay, answer is sixty-six. Let me check my key. It is exactly sixty-six. But this question you need to answer, right? This is taken for fifty-four. Fine. Remember, you need to answer only five, and uh, answer only which for which you are confident. 
See, this question also you need to attempt. Standard heat of formation of hydrazine. Heat of formation of hydrazine is given. What is happening here hydrazine? Hydrazine is actually participating in the reaction. It is undergoing combustion. Given is formation. So, just to change the sign and write as this. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is given 193.2, but 2 moles are there. So, it will be 193.2 into 2 moles. That is minus 386.4. It will become plus 386.4. Why? Because it is also undergoing combustion. Nitrogen 0, that won't be given. 4H2O. For 4H2O, it is given each water molecule minus 242.7. This is also what is it? Uh, releasing energy. So, this you keep as it is minus 970.8. What I am doing this is the given values are formations. So, this is forming. So, I am keeping the sign as it is. These are not forming, they are undergoing combustion. So, I am just changing the changing the sign. Add all of them, that is all. Okay, now products minus reactants, reactants minus products, nothing. Just to subtract 50.4, subtract 388, 386.4, 386.4. So, it is showing 534. Let me check my key. Exactly 534. So, this is also done. How many liters of water must be added to 1 liter of aqueous solution of HCl with a pH of 1 liter to create aqueous solution of pH? To increase of the to increase the pH of acid by 1 unit, dilution should be done by 10 times. Okay, now 1 liter is there, make it 10 liters. 10 times dilution, pH increases by 1 unit. So, in order to make it 10 liters, you need to add 9 liters of water. Simple logic. If you want to increase the pH by 1 unit, dilution should be done by 10 times. 1 liter to 10 liters. So, you need to add 9 liters of water. Must attempt this question. Weight of H2O2 present in 560 ml 20 volume H2O2 solution is approximately. Okay. I am taking this branch because I need to answer this question. So, here, yeah, sorry for the delay. Mm. See, 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. What is the meaning of 10 volume hydrogen peroxide? I think you remember. 10 volume of hydrogen peroxide means 0 0.89 molarity. Okay. And uh, 20 volume means. 0 0.8 means 0 0.9 you consider 1.8 molarity. Okay. Now he is asking what is the weight? 1.8 molarity, molarity is equals to mass. Mass we are going to calculate by molar mass. Molar mass is 34 into 1000 by 560 ml. So again calculator, I am using calculator. You cannot in exam, but I can because I am your teacher. Right? Relax. 560 divided by 1000, 34.272, 34.272, so approximately mentioned means 34, got it, done, the formal charge on the carbon in the carbonate ion is, carbonate ion is CO3 minus 2, C double bond O, O minus, O minus, for carbon, this one if you want, valence is 4, Number of bonds 4, no charge, 0. So, the formal charge on carbon in carbonate ion is 0. This is also you need to answer. This is also you need to answer. So, easy questions you can say simply. How many of the following less stable compounds will readily undergo thermal decomposition and heating? Okay, now for in first group, only lithium carbonate is unstable and it undergoes remaining all are thermally stable, they do not undergo. So, only one. Inorganic chemistry, easy question, easy question. What is the basicity of pyrophosphoric acid? Pyrophosphoric acid is H4P2O7. In this case, you will be having four OH groups. Okay, now if I am not wrong, the structure will be like this. Um, double bond o, OH, OH, OH and OH. Pyrophosphoric acid, there are 4 OH groups, so it is 4. It is also easy question. Job done.
Thank you. This is your lucky sir. We will meet with more.